Welcome to another episode of Entrefilmmaker. I'm your host, Shmuley Hoffman. Entrefilmmaker is basically a web video series dedicated to entrepreneurial filmmaking. The goal here is to help and share with you my strategies and hacks to become a more successful and effective filmmaker by being a better entrepreneur. So I got an email from Elad asking, what camera would you recommend if you are trying to get into 4K or higher resolutions, but you have a very small budget to work with? I think first you need to ask yourself where are your films that you produce, where are they being played? Are they for TV? Are they for the theater? Are they for the internet? Are they on DVD? And I think that's the first aspect that determines if you need to invest into 4K because 4K is not cheap. If you are still working in 1080 and none of your work, none of your clients demands 4K, why would you want to invest in 4K today if you're still delivering in HD? Get 4K if you have to work in 4K because your clients demand it and your clients pay for it. The second part of your question suggests, but I'm working on a small budget. That tells me that your clients are most likely to work in HD or smaller. Why would you spend thousands of dollars, you know, to a system that is not even fully around yet? If you can get a client today paying for 4K because they want to use it in 4K, go and buy the stuff, you know, with that money or parts of it in order to, you know, make that investment. But if it's just 1080, it's just because of the freaking hype or for you to look cool, to feel cool. No, you don't do that. I want you to have the latest and fastest gear as soon as 4K is really the new standard, let's say in two years, three years, whenever that will be. Because if you in two, three years are working with your gear that you invested today, I'm sure it will be not just outdated, but slow and cumbersome and other people are racing ahead of you because they have a later gear, but they invested in that whole game a little later. Now, the next question you might ask is, but Shmuley, what if, you know, 4K, I downsize that to HD and it looks so much better? That is an interesting question and I have played with that. But in the end, I figured I have to make another $10,000 investment. I have to buy a Mac Pro, the cheap camera, but then all the lenses, all the new gear. I need to have new sound interface, you know, to get this all going together with that camera. I think there is still lots to come in terms of you know development towards 4K and let's just sit and wait and let other people first figure it all out and then let's you know have the companies who provide and develop the gear really perfectionize that and then once this is really up on par professional and affordable and demanded by our clients then let's make that kind of jump and move over to 4K. Now, if you have a question like this, just click on the button above on where it says ask or go to entrefilmmaker.com forward slash ask and leave me a voicemail. Every voicemail that I will feature here as a question and will answer, I will also put your website um, you know, in the show notes. So that's a great way for you to cross promote your art. Maybe see, someone sees your art and says, wow, I wanna hire this guy. It's a great opportunity to uh, let other people know what you are up to. This is Entre Filmmaker. My name is Shmuley Hoffman and I'll see you hopefully in my next episode. Till then.